been up to? Not much? Um, not much at the moment. Just started rehab last week, gymming basically and watching plenty of movies, I guess. What did you do? Oh, obviously, I know what you did. but Yeah, yeah. Oh, it was a pretty did. solid session, obviously. No, no. What did you do? What was your injury? Oh, well, basically, I fractured my fibula. Yeah. Um, And I've got something called syndesmosis is where basically it's in the middle of your fibula and tibia. It's what yeah. holds it together. Mm-hmm. That bone snapped. Unfortunately, my foot was just in... Just a terrible position. Yeah, it was kind of position. in a rotation, like you were in a rotated yeah, position. Yeah, so that's snap. Mm-hmm. But then again, if it was in another position, I could have done MCL, mm-hmm. something worse. So. so in the grand scheme of things, probably the best yeah, result, basically. right? Yeah, Yeah, because there's that, that position, that compromising position you were in. Yeah, that was kind of lucky. That it was that one in the end. And um, you had to have surgery on that, on yeah. that didn't you? Yeah. And then it's 16-week. Rehab, is that how it is or you don't really know? Um, I'm saying to my, say, myself 8 to 10 <laughs> just so I can stay motivated to because mm. it will make me work harder knowing I could play this year. Mm. So that's pushing me pretty hard, I think. Um, it's quite an unfortunate injury as well. Thanks to Zach Butters from Port Adelaide had that similar injury. It seems like it's a pretty common injury, right, like this year. Everyone knows it's like 75% from what I've heard. Like mm. so many people are getting syndesmosis, mm. but – Probably just calling it that for an ankle injury. He actually yeah. did it. I think I think he did it first and then you're the, the week after or something, mm. or a couple of weeks after. But I look back on on the – like saw your photo. Like unfortunately, the cameraman actually got you in like that as you were in the middle of that – in the actual the tackle and your, your leg was caught under. The cameraman took a still image of what of that position and it was very similar to um, how Zach Butters did his as well. Yeah, just that big fat Perth bloke was just on my back. He <laughs> just went bang. So – um, if I didn't take the tackle on, I'd probably be all right right now. Mm. I reckon also as well, you're, um, you didn't want to go to ground. And I think that's also a reason also maybe as well you didn't. <laughs> if well, I did more did leg weights with you, <laughs> might have stayed up. Well, maybe. It's not a little bit of your genetics as well, mate. Yeah. You might not be able to um, put on sizes because you're such a mm. small guy. and Be putting up a body now though. So. That's right. <laughs> now it's all – now because you obviously probably have now the first mm. couple – I think it's six weeks or so, four, yeah. four weeks, I think maybe um, you can't even put weight on that leg. Mm. Is that right? Four yeah, weeks? Yeah, it could be six, I think. Four Ooh. to six weeks without the um, without weight on it. And now you're just doing upper body sets. Yeah. You did so, boxing last night with Dottie. Yeah, Brad sorted, Dodd. sorted him out pretty good. Yeah, on legs, let so, him know. Yeah. You didn't um, stand up, you were just sitting. No, nah, sitting down. Yeah, it's pretty, right. yeah, it's hard. And on the bike, it's pretty hard. Mm. So, but. How did he go? Was Dottie all right holding the pads? Yeah, he was struggling a bit. What was that? He's not as fit as what he used to. Uh, did he say that? Even though his he, arms, his arms were tiring like, out. You could just tell he's struggling. <laughs> nah. He walked. He walked into the office after after your set with him, and he was like sweating. Yeah. You can see he was like, oh, "I'm gonna get a water." <laughs> um. Yeah. Sh- he, shout he, out to Dottie who's listening. Yeah. Shout out to Dottie. He gave me a cheap shot when I was doing it. So. Oh, did he? I got to get him back around the head. Yeah. Nice. He would have. Um. I I don't know if maybe if Springer. Do you know who Springer is? Springer. Yeah. 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 Um, he's Frio. the boxing coach from Frio. Yeah, yeah. I was like, oh, boxer, but he work, works like the runner. Had and the stuff gym like at South Manor. Correct. Yeah. That's him there. Yeah. And then obviously he's worked um, so long in boxing, and he I think he would have coached Dottie as well a little bit, so maybe Dottie would have learnt some things off him and a little bit yeah. of clips yeah. here and there. So he's probably got me sorted then. So. Mm. <laughs> I love boxing. though. boxing is good, man. You will learn to love it because mm. it's well. Well, if you learn to love it a bit more, you understand how much you have to think about. Like rotating, and like, for sure. you know, yeah, keep technical. your hands it's up. So technical. Like, yeah, trying it's to keep my arms well, like in front of my eyes. Yeah. And they just drag down. Yeah, we know my belly. Someone's just struggling. Yeah. It's hard. No, it's but not. um, it's good sport. It's more cerebral than what people think. People mm. think like boxing or macho, macho. And yeah. But it's really, really technical. That's why, like, even the old, like some older guys, not older guys, but the golden era of boxing, everyone was like, it's a, it's like a science. Yeah. Because it's all about, especially like moving around the ring and trying to corner people. Yeah. Be like corner people so they can't move either way you yeah. like dictate how it's you what move. i do love so probably ufc like well, you watch that's kind of i want to get my body to like what they look like because they're kind of the ultimate athlete they just look you reckon elite yeah i don't know why but i rate it because they're i reckon because they've tried i reckon a lot of it is that they've trained in a martial art for so long that their body just kind of adapts to that kind of a lot of hard training and mm. also it is the, the conditioning that you have for it as well is so hard. You've got to go like five-minute rounds. So a lot of it is um, conditioning, just working off for five-minute rounds, one-minute rest. So you've got to have yeah. the ability for your muscles to kind of take that. So it doesn't have to be ripped. You obviously have to be really well-conditioned. But you'd be surprised, man. Some of them are pretty average, pretty average rigs. 